My name is uh, Nick Ream. You can find me on YouTube. Uh, this is, I call it like the cyclone drone. So it takes off like a tricopter. Uh, it can also spin like a helicopter and it's actually like three times more efficient when it's flying like this. And then you go back and you can fly it in forward flight on its wing, like an no. airplane. Oh. So it's a triple mode VTOL. So, do, and like, Real quickly, how does it work? Like, do you have like gyro, like some sort of gyro stabilization thing? Like, yeah. So there's a flight controller buried under the hood here. It's okay. my open source flight controller, Dreamflight, okay. and uh, anybody can download that, upload it to an Arduino-like board, and code up kind of crazy configurations. So, you know, non-conventional quadcopter, tricopter supports yeah. that, but you can also do stuff like this. Okay, cool. And you got mini quad motors on there? Yeah, pretty uh, cheapest ones I could find. Nice, nice, actually. nice. And it looks like some lights. Do you do this at night as well? Yeah, so when it's spinning, it's really hard to tell oh, what yeah. the front is. Yeah. So I have the lights pulsing around the rotation. Oh. So you can see what the front is, and then you actually have roll and pitch control. That's cool. So you can't really see the lights in the day, but I'll fly it later tonight. Oh, see, yeah. yeah. I would definitely be there for that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at Let's it. Fly. tied to one servo. Oh wow. Oh it's so quiet. Oh dude. It's like something out of Star Wars. Right, yeah like a like a TIE fighter or something yeah. like that. Let me bring it back. And then uh, I actually have a, a lighter on here that helps me hold altitude. Okay. I'll, I'll spin it. I won't keep it spinning because I, I can't tell during the day. Gotcha. But uh, I'll just pop it right back out of spinning. So, <laughs> if it was nighttime, I'd be able to see what the front was and I'd be able to control it and move, oh. it, move it around laterally. Oh, wow. So, like, as it spins? Exactly. So it, like, stays spinning and then you just control, like, the spinning disc? Exactly. It feels, oh. like, feels like a big helicopter. I'll, I'll spin it again for you. See if okay. I can get it. You got caught in the wind, so really correct for it. Alright. Okay. Gonna spin. <laughs> that's cool man. Like I, that's definitely something I've thought about building but like never really had any idea how to do it. Do a little pass for you. Okay. Hmm. It's so quiet. That thing sounds scary. What kind of battery you got on there? This is a uh, just a 1500 4S. Okay. So uh, I can get like about eight minutes just cruising around like this between like the regular hover and forward flight. But then when I if I do like exclusively that spinning hover, mm -hmm. you need about 20 minutes. Wow. It's extremely efficient. The, the power of momentum theory. Large rotors. Okay, I was just informed here in just a little bit, um, on the right end of the flat line, we have a great big massive sketchy build that's going to be just doing a taxi test. So if, when that when that point of time happens, I'm just going to have you guys step back to the yellow rope, 
just for safety, and uh, most likely that airplane is gonna fly tonight in the monster plane parade. And the uh, Blue Angels are gonna go up as well. Okay. Probably got some, some juice left in the battery, just don't want to punish my, my pack. All right. Good flight. Yeah. Nice. Let me pop the hood for you. So, <laughs> some mess of wires. Everything's actually just kind of like taped to the servo. Oh wow. There's one big servo that actually oh, all three of these. Oh yeah, you get like a strap around it. Either. And then all the, the electronics are just kind of, you know, wherever they fit around the servo. That's nuts. And then there's a, uh, there's a little LiDAR yeah. right here on the front that's downward facing. So okay. uh, oh, I, I, can, right I can flip that on and I have a little bit of altitude assist. Mm -hmm. Just uh, normally I use that when I'm flying in the spinny mode. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. What, it, what, do you, what do you call this again? Or do you have a name for this build? Or? You can call it like the, the tri mode VTOL because it's, it's got vertical takeoff, forward flight, and then the spinny mode. So if you get in the trouble or one of, one of a kind anything of that nature, he lets go of the button. Hey, yeah, of course. We'll get, I mean, we get bars in our goggles.